Now, go figure, as a digital disruption business, you're digitally disrupting all around, well, you're, you're trying to do the whole world. You've been traveling around the United States, Australia, Britain, and yep. uh, New Zealand. Just, just briefly, tell us about how you're digitally disrupting the world, Lisa. Um, by making something that people feel is pretty unsexy, um, making it uh, fun um, and something that people want to learn about, um, and uh, and learn about it obviously with the new tools that are available. Um, so you know, we we talk about like you know, um, meeting people and actually um, getting ourselves immersed into their issues and doing a SWOT analysis a SWOT analysis in their site um, but there's you know never any talk anymore of the shoebox it's all about finding tools um, in the cloud online faster more efficient six million dollar man ways of you know rebuilding their business uh, and the trust and the confidence they have in that area of their business um, yeah we, we, we are disrupting financial literacy or should I say financial illiteracy? Is that a word? Illiterate. Illiteracy. Illiteracy. Right? Um, and, uh, you know, and, yeah, disrupting those uh, lack of confidence. Um, things that people put up and say, oh, you know, I'm really bad at this, blah, blah, blah. They're not. They're just negatively thinking about it. So, yeah, we're making it fun. We're turning it on its head. Um, we know that they're going to give it a go and, and be a bit of a DIY. That's a global phenomenon. Every small business owner thinks they can do it for themselves. Um, they can't. Um, so, you know, we just get in there and say, well, you know, let us help you. You know, let's take the pain away. <laughs> we're, we're your packet of Panadol. <laughs>